when we go outside at night and we do CE5 events, it's really nice to have with us a video camera that we can point at the sky and record anything that we see up there. The problem is that regular video cameras are simply not designed to be able to operate well in low light conditions. So when you hold a regular video camera up to the night sky, you really don't get a clear view of what's up there. You don't see the stars or the satellites very easily. So a better option during CE5 events is to have with you a night vision camera. Now I have here two night vision monoculars or video cameras. And in this video, I'm going to review both of them for you. On the left, we have a night vision video camera by Lunar Optics. And on the right, we have a Psyonix Aurora Pro. The Lunar Optics camera costs about $550. And the Psyonix costs about $1,000. Perhaps the most significant technical difference between these two cameras is that the Lunar Optics camera has a field of view of about nine degrees, whereas the Psyonix camera has a field of view of 44 degrees. So what that means is when you look through the Lunar Optics camera, it's like looking through a telescope. You are zoomed right in on a small area of the sky, and that's wonderful for seeing distant objects up close. Very often though at CE5 events, something appears in the sky very briefly and it's there for just for a moment before it disappears. And with the lunar optics camera, you're probably not going to be able to record that. If however you have your psionics camera turned on and recording the sky, uh, then you're far more likely to be able to record those brief appearances. Something appears and then it's gone, but your camera was pointing at the sky and so you've recorded it. The other main difference between these two cameras is that the Lunar Optics camera doesn't record audio. So you can get some very good, very clear images of distant objects in the sky, but you're not going to get the audio that goes with that. You're not going to get the people talking about what they're seeing. With the Psyonix camera, you do have an audio channel. So afterwards, when you look at the video, you will be able to hear what people are saying as they're looking at the objects in the sky. Both of these cameras are small enough and light enough that you can hold them in one hand as you look through them into the night sky. Um, the Lunar Optics camera is bigger and a bit bulkier and heavier than the Psyonix. So after a while, holding the Lunar Optics camera with one hand, your arm can start to get a bit tired. So if you want something quick and easy and small and convenient and light, the Psyonix camera is better. The resolution of the video that's recorded is full HD for the Lunar Optics, so that's 1080p, and 720p, so a lower resolution for the Psyonics. One thing that the Lunar Optics camera has that the Psyonics camera doesn't have is an infrared illuminator. What that means is basically there's a small infrared flashlight or torch built into the Lunar Optics camera. Now, when you're looking at the stars or UFOs in the sky, you really don't need that infrared illuminator. You can just turn it off because the stars and light sources in the sky just shine their own light, uh, which can be detected by both cameras. But if you're trying to record something on the ground, say that's 100 meters away, uh, then having the infrared illuminator might be useful. You can turn that on and uh, basically the, the nighttime scene will be lit up in infrared by that uh, infrared illuminator and you can record what's going on. The limitation on that is because you're zoomed in quite a lot with a narrow field of view on the Lunar Optics camera, it's not like you can easily record what's happening around you in the CE5 group that you're in, uh, because it, it's like you're looking through a telescope and you, 
you're only going to see a tiny fraction of what's happening. So if you were going to use the, the camera like that, you'd probably want to uh, set it up on a tripod about 50 meters away. And then you probably would get quite a nice view of the CE5 group lit up in infrared uh, during the event. When I field tested both of these cameras without their infrared illuminators turned on, uh, on a night that was lit up a little bit by a half moon, I found that the lunar optics camera really didn't do a very good job at detecting much on the ground, but the psionics camera was more sensitive and actually could record quite well some of the activity that was going on on the ground. So in summary, these two cameras are substantially different in their capabilities. And I wouldn't say that one is better than the other, uh, but they should be used for doing slightly different things at CE5 events. If I were to recommend one over the other, I would probably recommend the Psionics camera because it's small, it's lightweight, you can go outside and point it at the sky, whether you're experienced or not, you will see a large field of view of stars very clearly, and you have a good chance of recording any activity that you see going on in the sky, whether it's shooting stars or satellites, UFOs or potential alien phenomena. The disadvantage with this camera is that if you do see something in the sky in the distance and you try and zoom in on it, you're not going to be able to zoom in as far and with as much detail as with the lunar optics camera. Now, if you're outside during a CE5 event and you look up in the sky and you see something interesting up there, then the lunar optics camera is great for pointing it at that location in the sky, zooming right in on it and seeing it up close in detail. Oh yeah, did you see that? What do you mean? Like, you can't... In Kansas, the weather is, it's, it's, it's not, the air is not, there's so much moisture in the air um, that you just don't get, I mean, I'm seeing clearly here the Milky Way. Got it? Right there? Yeah. Okay, I would like this, this craft to turn around and come back. Turn around and come back this way. Let us know that you're a flying saucer, an alien craft. I see you. Just turn around. Come back this way. Something else is moving just past it. Coming this way. Do you see it? Yeah. yeah. And then there's that right there. Oh, yeah. That? that one is... Another one. That, right that's moving slowly. Yeah, can you actually f shine the laser at it? What? So many things moving. Oh my god, do you see those? Oh yeah, 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 there's two. They're like moving away from each other. See this one? Where is it? Yeah.
Uh, there, are, there is actually a peak of shooting stars around now that we would expect to see more tonight than... Whoa! Come back and say hello. Whoa, did you see that? Yeah, I got it. I didn't have a record on. Yeah, it was toward the very end, so when you said the, the figure was towards the end of the meditation, that's when I received that towards the meditation. Yeah, yeah, a lot of energy. Is yeah, in there. yeah, towards the very end, I felt mm -hmm. something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It does. Now, now, that, now they're over there. You see multiple dots? Yeah. Yeah, it could be the autofocus look, and the look lidar. Look at that guy there. We've been to the crash, crash site, we've tuned in with the tragedy of the crash. We've been to your grave site. Oh, did you see it? 